Uh, it's been a little while since I recorded a video. I am in the middle of a lot of life changes and I actually have recorded two videos, at least two videos to like edit and put on the channel, but I get overwhelmed with all of the steps and the editing and like, oh, is this the right time? And I get all in my head and then I end up not posting it at all. Uh, in this video, I will share, um, I could, maybe this is more of a journal entry of sorts. Um, as I reflect back on my time on the channel, I have thought for a very long time about like what is like which audience do I want to try to reach? So like what personas do I want to go after? And at different times, I've thought about this as a business opportunity. So like, oh, I want to bring in some revenue. And when I think about business though sometimes i'm like it just creates a lot of extra stress around it and i'm like i like making youtube videos i like watching youtube videos what if i took out the need for it to turn into something else and it can just be something that i enjoy so i'm trying to get back to the roots of that and i've spent so much time obsessing over the different things that i want to communicate about all these things that I know. But you know what I always come back to? It's the shit that to me feels like it's stuff that I'm like, I don't really wanna talk about that. Like I kind of put it in a separate box. One of them is uh, being black. The other, another is being gay. Another is ADHD and, and the other things that are connected to that, like anxiety and depression. And so for as focused as I can be about a topic like change management, for example, the stuff that I think about the most and that that I am the most emotional about are the things that like are really kind of like inherent to who I am as a person. And I don't want to talk about my feelings. I think, well, who wants to hear people talk about their feelings? But like, that's what's on my mind. One of, something that I have not addressed, and partly it's due to fear, but it is like the older I get, the more I'm, or actually, let me say it this way. Early on, I was diagnosed with depression, anxiety. Later, I was diagnosed with ADHD, like going into my 30s. And these were like diagnoses that were like in my head and I was like taking medicine for, but I was, I don't know. I just never, I thought, frankly, like that's some white people shit. And like my brain is broken. And like, like how am I supposed to, like, I don't know what, like, what do I, what do I do with this? Everybody has anxiety or gets depressed or has moments where they can't focus, which is true, but it becomes a problem when it starts to get in the way of you living your life and accomplishing your goals. And part of the reason I like YouTube and I like the idea of making YouTube videos is that I am, I've learned that I am a verbal processor. So I, I sometimes don't know what I think or feel until I talk about it. And I would prefer to have a script, but I don't have a script today. I'm just kind of going off of some thoughts that I have today. Something I, I think what I want to talk about is, I'm not totally sure, is ADHD and addiction. So I struggle a lot with the ADHD diagnosis or mental health diagnoses in general, because I think there's a like a pathology around it and it can feel, I don't know, sometimes it's like it doesn't express properly like what, what I feel like I'm struggling with. And with professionals and 
um, like when you're not on the street or if you're not like in a treatment facility, it's like the idea of like, oh, I'm an addict or I'm an alcoholic. Like it's, I don't know. I don't, it doesn't like sit well. And I think some people can look at you and be like, hmm, you know, um, I have on and off used marijuana and when it is off, things are great. And when it's on, sometimes things are great. But sometimes when it's on, I can't think and I lose motivation. I mean, it doesn't cause me to, you know, uh, like rob a liquor store, or, you know. <laughs> but it gets in the way of me accomplishing my goals. And that's enough. Yeah, I'm not like, I don't think you have to be strung out before you're like, I can't do this. And God, the past four or five years, I have gone back and forth with marijuana. Like, maybe I can do it sometimes. Sometimes I, you know, at, at one point I was in Marijuana Anonymous and then I was like, oh, I don't need this anymore. Like, it, I just kind of been back and forth. Like, and this morning I was just like, I can't, I don't know. Like, yeah, it's not destroyed my life, but is it getting in the way of me doing things that I want to do? Absolutely. It's a Saturday and I have been miserable all day because of cravings, but I am doing laundry. I cooked I am cleaning, I'm rearranging furniture. I watched some YouTube videos that were on my to-do list. I have been journaling. I've been working on updating my calendar. So many things I've been able to do today because I'm not stoned. And so like, that's a, that's a trade-off. And you know, I'm in the middle of thinking about what kind of YouTube channel do I want to make? What, like, but, and I think I have to make stuff that resonates with me. And again, I struggle with like saying like ADHD, like this cha whole channel is going to be about ADHD. Cause sometimes I'm like, well, who am I apart from my diagnoses? Like, I don't want ADHD to be my thing. Like, who, who am I if I don't have a diagnosis? Who am I if I don't have something wrong with me? Like, who is that person? The flip side is, it's easier for me to see things through a specific lens. And I can view so much through the lens of ADHD. I could view mental health. I could view addiction. I could view uh, diversity. Um, what it's like to be black and have ADHD. Like there's a lot of different angles I can look through it. I'm currently in classes to become a certified ADHD life coach. I'm learning a lot about ADHD. I got ADHD books laying around like cognitive behavioral, cognitive behavioral, can't talk, cognitive behavioral therapy for adult ADHD laying around that I'm reading. And sometimes I could be working so hard on an answer to a question and the an answer will be right in front of me. Like my, my time is one, about a hundred percent consumed with ADHD, but it's top of mind a lot. I'm not saying that's what I've decided to make the channel on. I, the goal of this video was to make a video. It was to sit down, hit record and post it to YouTube because I like making YouTube videos and I haven't made a video. And I'm like, we can't focus on things being perfect. We just got to make the video and get it out. And that's, and I am accomplishing that goal. 
I don't know if this will be edited and posted tonight, but I have some time to work on it this weekend before I go back to work on Monday. I have a message of encouragement. I need lots of encouragement and I want to give it to other people. If you have ADHD, you can feel sad, like you can never get things right and you can feel like, well, how is everybody else able to do this and I can't figure it out? I'm 38 and I've heard this from people who are in their 40s, 50s, you know, like, oh, like, how are people living life like I haven't figured it out? And you can just start to feel bad about yourself. You feel like, well, what's something must be wrong with me. And my encouragement to you is like, maybe something is wrong with you, but something being wrong with you doesn't make you a bad person. Like, I, I, I think I want to separate, like, you can have issues going on. You can have issues going on in your life. And you could be struggling with things. But that never means that you don't deserve to have your feelings validated. And that you don't deserve to have peace whatever that looks like for you. So I, I want you to know that you're not a waste of space and that you're not useless. Um, you're not worthless. Everybody has a different path. That sounds like BS, but I'm learning that now at 38. I've been fighting it for a long time. I got no clue. I mean, I have a clue of like where I'm going, but do any of us really know? No. So maybe the message is, if you haven't figured it out, you're not alone. Like, I think people are still figuring it out. And there's, I feel like there are more people who haven't figured it out than who have. So we got time. Just try your best now. And after the video ends, try your best for the rest of the day or the hour or not. Just don't. You don't have to be mean to yourself because there's enough people already being mean to you. So be kind to yourself. I will hope to see you all again soon. Bye.